Greetings, everyone. I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. What you're looking at here is 8,900 pounds of awesome. This is the 2024 Cougar 29RLI. Like I said, you're uh, coming in under 9,000 pounds. And this thing is loaded. It's beautiful. Uh, I am partial to Cougars. I've had a couple of Cougars. Love them. Enough about that. Let's get on with Le Tour. Um, so, directly to my left, we're going to have our freestanding dinette. Now, it is bolted to the wall, but they still call it a freestanding dinette. I personally am partial to the freestanding dinettes just because I have a lot of great memories of sitting there with friends and family and having food, playing board games, that kind of stuff. But they are absolutely fantastic. Directly next to that, you have your theater seats. So those do recline. You have cup holders. You do have massage and heat. And you also have a little hidey hole for your remote or your snacks if you want. Directly below that, and that noise was me hitting my hip really hard on the kitchen island, which didn't feel good. Uh, underneath that, you do have, they call it a carpetless slide. It's... I don't know if you can hear that in the video. It's basically like that, uh, like you think of the outdoor rugs. Uh, super easy to clean. Um, and I have dogs. It's super easy to sweep and keep looking really nice. So love that. At the very back of the unit, we do have our jackknife sofa. So that will turn it into sleeping area. So I always get confused on the verbiage. On either side, you have in tables because it's in its couch position right now but then at night you have a couple of nightstands both of them feature uh regular power outlets as well as usb so you can keep your devices charged you also have a dimmer back there so you can dim those lights if you'd like nice big picture window and you'll notice you excuse me you do have the blackout shade so you can get it nice and comfy and private in here uh great for sitting here and watching a movie Speaking of movie, look at that segue that I did there. I'm going to get comfortable for a minute. You have a nice big flat screen TV. It's probably 50 or 55. I'm not sure. Directly below that, you have your Bluetooth CD DVD player. So that controls your inside and your outside speakers. Uh, little lesson I learned years ago. Make sure you turn your outside speakers off at night when you are watching a movie. The whole campground doesn't want to hear your movie. Uh, anyway, that's also great because you can connect to Bluetooth. It will work all the way out by the fire pit. So it's nice. You can sit out there, play music in the evening if you'd like. And those inside speakers are right up there. You have some storage up above it. You have some storage on either side of that stereo. And then you have that massive electric fireplace. And I say it in all of my videos because I love them. If you get a camper that has one, you're going to fall in love with it. If you early season, late season camp, it definitely makes the camper nice and cozy, but you can also just flip on the lights for a little ambiance if you want. I gotta get up. We're gonna move into the kitchen area. So I do wanna talk about the pantry real quick. Really big pantry and as you can see, you have adjustable shelves in there. So you've got plenty of options. We've got our three burner stove with the glass top. And so this will fold back. You can use it for serving prep like this, but it will also fold back as a backsplash uh, when you're cooking. Microwave, of course. And as you see, you've got some uh, drawers down below. And then you have this really big kitchen island that destroyed my hip a little bit ago that does have uh, drawers and cabinets down below. A 50-50 stainless steel sink. You've got the detachable sprayer. I think they call that a chef sprayer. If somebody knows the exact name, drop me a comment down below and let me know. You also have what I think that everybody likes to call your breakfast nook. Uh, again, a ton more storage, both above and below and counter space. You've got your fridge freezer here. And let's see if I can tell you what size it is. Maybe, maybe... 12 volt, we know that, 10 cubic foot. So you have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge freezer. It's important to know, <coughs> excuse me, about the 12 volt. 
This is a Keystone product, so it does come with the Solar Flex 200. So that means you have a solar panel on top and you have nice Dragonfly batteries installed. What that one panel will do is it'll basically run your lights, it'll keep your refrigerator going, you can run your slides out. Uh, some of your plugs will actually work and they're marked. What's really cool with the Solar Flex though is that you can upgrade that. Like we upgraded to the Solar Flex 400. And it's actually cheaper because a lot of the work is already done. You already have one of the inverters there. You already have a lot of the wiring done. So it's easy to upgrade. You can either upgrade that package before you actually pick up your unit, or you can do it later on. That's why it's flexible. And it'll go all the way up to, I forget the number, but basically it's full boondocking. You can go completely off grid if you choose to. Uh, another thing to talk about in here is you do have the quiet cool system so you'll notice that the AC is actually mounted on top of the camper so it's going to be a little quieter in here when you're running your AC which is fantastic. Uh, you do have the WineGuard Wi-Fi upgradable so you can purchase that at the parts store and pop that in there and that's going to give you a range extender. I have that on my camper and it's fantastic because if you have a weak signal instead of just trying to use your phone or the, the smart TV itself it's going to use the antenna on top boost it and then you connect your individual devices to it which is nice. We are operating on the in command system. You can basically do everything from here. When you first get your camper, it's all zeros, by the way. You can run your HVAC, lights, slides, awnings. You can check your uh, tank levels. Whoops, pressed the button. You can also download the mobile app and connect it from the mo or connect to it from the mobile app. And I have been sitting like right there and turned the temperature down without coming over here because camping is all about relaxing, right? Uh, some foolproofs on this, obviously, like if your screen went black, you still have your mobile phone, but I'll show you when we go outside, you also have some manual stuff. So let's say for some strange reason, this quit working on you, uh, you do have the ability to like run your slides in and stuff manually. And if you check out our website, we've got a great video that covers this entire in-command system if you need it. Bathroom. Sit down shower, big plus for me. Nice tall moon roof in there. You've got storage to the left, porcelain toilet. Why is that awesome? Because you can use any household chemicals on it. You've got your sink with storage below. You've got a nice big medicine cabinet. Uh, and you have a fan in here. So then we come to the bedroom. Queen size bed, storage underneath it. Nice big nightstands on both sides with drawers to put snacks whatever you want but you've got plenty of room for cpap machine tablets chargers or phones whatever you need and you have usb as well as regular charging you've got that his and hers closet you can add a second ac in here if you would like and then we come over to our closet closet so you've got hanging storage on this side or stacking and then you've got some drawers there for additional space you also have a backer in the wall here so you can mount your TV and come back here and watch TV in the bedroom if you'd like. The whole thing is on key TV. Basically, key TV is if you're old school like me, when you hooked up cable or satellite to your camper, every TV was stuck watching the same channel. With key TV, you do not have to worry about that. You can switch channels if you would like, which is super nice. And there's an example of one of the outlets that will work off the solar flex. So it'll show the inverted outlet, inverted outlet solar flex on it. A few things on the outside. You do have the solid entry steps on this. You have massive pass-through storage up here at the front. And here's where I was talking about you have the ability to turn the knobs and stuff yourself if you need to in the event that your uh, in command went out you also have a plug out here and the ability to plug in a tv if you want to sit out by the campsite and watch tv if we can get over i will show you the outside command area yeah we can make it so here is basically your tank fly or your tank dumps your 
no pun intended there, your tank flush, which is super nice because you hook your hose up here and you can actually flush out your black tank, city water connection, and then you can actually winterize from here, which is nice. And there's where you hook up your cable TV if you're at a campground that has that. All of those cords and cables and everything else will actually go down through here so you can close this. Level up system is on this. Uh, I, I had it on my Cougar. It's super easy. You get to the camp spot, you pr unhook, you press a button, it levels itself. And what's really cool is it will also remember the height that it was at when you unhooked. So when you go to rehook up, it will actually, pre you press a button, it'll raise back up to that. Super easy to use. You have two awnings on this because you have a campsite slide. So you've got the smaller awning on that uh, slide, and then you've got the bigger awning here, powered awning, that both have LED lights, both are powered. Uh, and again, you can control those from the in command or you can control them from your mobile device. There's those outside speakers I was talking about. And let's check the back real quick. So on the back, we do have a ladder, which means that the roof is fully walkable. You can get up there, clean it, maintain it. You can brush off your slides if you need to. You can also buy slide toppers, which I have, and they're super nice. They keep debris from getting on your slide tops. But having the ladder there makes it super easy to get up there, clean it, maintain it, make sure your seals are good and stuff. So there you have it. As always, if you have questions or comments, drop them down below. Be more than happy to answer whatever I can and have a fantastic day.